So I bought this vintage L.L. Bean flannel shirt with the intent to sell it. However, once I got it washed and dried and then steamed, I noticed that it was sadly missing a button. Now, because this is a vintage piece, the replacement buttons are long gone. So I am going to have to take the buttons from the sleeves to replace the button here on the shirt front. And of course take this button as well and then replace these two buttons with two new buttons. Now, unfortunately, I do not have the exact match to these buttons, but that's okay because I have plenty of spares and having them on the sleeves will just kind of blend it all in. These are the two spare buttons I will be using today. They are a millimeter smaller than the ones that are on the shirt currently, but again, because they are for the sleeves, these will function perfectly fine. They are a floor hole button, just like the ones on the shirt. And they are close enough in color that I do believe that it will be completely unnoticeable. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the vestiges of the button that fell off the front here. To do that, I am just going to take my seam ripper here and slide it underneath the stitches and then turn it over to the other side. easily now. Now we have a nice clean shirt front. I now need to remove the voluntary buttons on the sleeves. So we will just go underneath with my seam ripper here. Still a little tight. So I'll go in the front, underneath. You could also use a pair of embroidery scissors if you have them available and you're more comfortable with that. I just prefer the seam ripper because it's less likely I'm going to make a mistake. So here's our first volunteer button. I'm gonna pull this out of the back. Pull from the front, and now the sleeve is ready for a new button. And then do the same through this side. I'm going to use a plain white polyester thread for this repair. I prefer to use silk, but I unfortunately do not have any white silk thread for this at current. And this is the closest to the original thread on the garment going to thread my needle like so, grab my replacement button, and start from the bottom. Once I get the initial four in, I'm going to come up through the bottom of the shirt, back down, but instead of going through the fabric of the shirt, I'm going to wrap this thread around once, and then into the shirt. down through the button, wrap the thread around again, and to the shirt. Back up. Mm -hmm. 
Spirit but no. Around. And out of the shirt. Then I'm going to catch the fabric here. Tie this into a knot. Catch the fabric again. Tie this into a knot. And then snip with my embroidery. There's one. And then do that to the same with the other side. Now that both sleeves have had their buttons removed and replaced, we can move on to the shirt front. Just like with the sleeves, I'm using the same polyester thread knotted at the end. Place the button. And if you're wondering how I'm able to exactly place the buttons. It's because that the buttons, when they were removed, left an impression. The ghosts of buttons pass. So I'm gonna come up from underneath and down. cross. Then I'm going to come up again. Down the side here. Not go into the shirt. Wrap it around twice and then down into the shirt. If you're wondering why I wrapped the thread around the button, it makes sure that there's enough space for the actual shirt. So that way when you connect the two sides of the shirt together, there's enough space for the other side of the shirt to sit in. Back up and through. Back down. Up twice. And into the shirt. And a couple more times. Now all three buttons have been replaced. And now the shirt can be photographed sold, and moved on to a new home. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.